still traveling alone might seem daunting, it's guaranteed to be one of the most liberating and profound experiences of your life. In our big, wide world, there is so much to see and explore, and solo travels give you the space to make your own decisions and plans unhampered by the expectations of others. Ugh. Traveling by yourself can also boost your confidence and open your mind to new and diverse cultures. It can also be a cathartic experience if you're over vacation drama between friends and family, or just need a break from folks back home. Gads, just leave me alone already! But with so many options for places to go, how do you even begin to decide? Well, don't worry, we've got you covered. Welcome to Via Travelers. Subscribe to our channel for the latest in must-visit travel destinations and experiences. In this video, I'll guide you through the top 10 best solo travel destinations for your breathtaking and life-changing adventure. If you're thinking about taking yourself on vacation, but you're not sure where to go, you'll be pleased to learn that plenty of incredible countries and cities are perfect for solo adventures. A great point of departure is identifying what you want to experience, be it art, architecture, food and culture, coastal relaxation, or meandering through nature. To make your decision easier, we've compiled a list of the best places for each, their most renowned attractions, and some tips and tricks for getting around. So, if you're wondering, where is the best place to take a solo trip? Let's dive right into the top 10 places to travel alone. With picturesque canals and vibrant culture comprising the heart of the city, it's no surprise that beautiful Amsterdam tops our list of places to travel on your own. Museum Plein is the place to be for art lovers, housing the Rijksmuseum, the Stedelijk Museum, and the Van Hoek Museum, among others. Surrounding a bustling town square, the tree-lined streets will have you feeling like you've traveled to a different world. When you've had your fill of art, you can satiate your appetite for a diversity of food and drink at Vesterpark. Formerly the city's municipal gas works, this complex proud boasts various restaurants, coffee shops, microbreweries, markets, and mini festivals throughout the year. Hembrug Terrain, another must-see Amsterdam attraction, lies the North Sea Canal and is the go-to destination for culturalists and creatives. Indeed, you're likely to meet like-minded travelers at one of many eateries, museums, or performance venues. And if you're wondering about getting around, Amsterdam is super tourist-friendly. They have excellent public transport, and it's extremely bikey. Meander on foot, rent a bicycle, or take a ferry through the winding city canals. We recommend investing in an iAmsterdam card, which gains you access to over 70 Amsterdam attractions from a starting price of 64 euros. If you're after a bustling city experience, Chicago is undoubtedly one of the best places to travel alone in the US. Fine dining, museum visits, legendary music venues, and an array of shopping options are just a few of the exciting things this vibrant city has to offer. Start your day in the downtown Chicago Loop at one of its many world-renowned cafes and coffee shops. From there, you can sightsee in Millennium Park, home to The Bean. Or visit the Museum of Contemporary Art. Lovers of literature and culture can even visit the Harold Washington Library or the Chicago Cultural Center for free. The Magnificent Mile, or Mag Mile, another one of Chicago's greatest treats, is an awe-inspiring 13-block trail of premier retail outlets where you can quite literally shop until you drop. And once you're done, you can drink in some jazz music at the legendary Green Mill, loved for its storied past and incredible ambiance. Chicago's metro system, the L, makes it easy to get around, and a Chicago City Pass from $114 will help you save a few bucks when visiting the city's top attractions. From one extreme to another, Iceland is a must-visit for solo travelers who long for nature and majestic landscapes. It's also a safe place to travel alone, especially if you plan on backpacking. Given that it is considered one of the most peaceful countries on Earth and boasts exceptionally low crime rates, when we think of Iceland, we think of the Northern Lights, which are a once-in-a-lifetime sight for sure. However, there are several other ways to fill your day, including hiking, horseback riding, mountain climbing, and caving. Iceland's natural attractions include sweeping mountain ranges like the Vesterhof and the Hakla, complete with volcanoes. There are also waterfalls like Gudfoss, Detifoss, and enormous glaciers like Vatnajökull. While you're there, we also recommend visiting Finkbeklish National Park, the country's famous UNESCO World Heritage Site, and a national treasure. Traveling to Iceland generally entails flying into Keflavik International Airport, where you can take a short drive to the capital city of Reykjavik. All-day bus routes make it easy to get to where you want to go, starting from around about $20. If you're keen to boost your spiritual wellness, consider a trip to Sedona, Arizona. 
Beloved for its breathtaking arid landscape, unique rock formations, gorgeous weather, and bountiful hiking trails. While the population of Sedona is relatively tiny at only 10,000 permanent residents, there is plenty to do regarding relaxation, shopping, and investigating the town's rich cultural heritage. Visit one of the many luxury spas and resorts to set up your home base, like the Amara Resort and Spa or the Enchantment Resort. Here you can spend at least a day treating yourself to massages and facials. From there, you can embark on several different day trips, like visiting Grand Canyon National Park's Red Rock Formations or Jerome, a famous historic mining community. The hiking trails here are a must for solo tourists and are safe and clearly marked. However, if you tire of being on foot, you can easily book a jeep tour to take you through the desert's breathtaking landscapes. Sedona is also home to several art galleries, museums, and plenty of quaint restaurants and wineries to keep you occupied in the later afternoon and evening. Getting around is easy too. If you don't want to rent a car, you can hop on the Verde Shuttle, with fares starting at only one dollar. Now on to my neck of the woods. While London's history and its diverse art and architecture are certainly a reason to visit, it's also a great place for solo travellers that want to experience its vibrant nightlife, superb cuisine, fashion, music and theatre. As one of the world's greatest cultural and international hubs, there's literally something for everyone here. London can seem like an overwhelming destination if you're travelling alone, but in actual fact it's a great place to immerse yourself in various experiences, given that it's pretty easy to navigate with a well-planned itinerary. A stroll along the south bank of the River Thames is an excellent start to any London holiday. It will allow you to take in the magnificent architecture of Tower Bridge, the Houses of Parliament, Elizabeth Tower and Big Ben, Westminster Abbey and Parliament Square. There are also plenty of street vendors selling food and crafts, as well as performers to keep you entertained. While there's plenty to keep the foodie or arty crowd satisfied, London is a haven for history buffs. A visit to the British Museum, the Natural History Museum or the National Army Museum is free, although we recommend getting to each one early. Alternatively, you can visit the Churchill War Rooms for around £24 or the Tower of London for about £30. When you're done soaking in the culture and history of London, you can wander across to the London Eye, where you'll be spoiled with incredible views of the city from up high. Although London itself is kind of higgledy-piggledy, it is remarkably easy to navigate. The extensive London Underground, or Tube, makes it exceptionally easy to get around central London. There are also plenty of double-decker buses, forest bikes, and of course, the famous black cabs. From one European vacation to another, just the landscape around Vienna makes it easy to see why this Austrian city gets billing as a top place for solo travel. Best of all, it's very tourist friendly, safe and easy to get around. But there's more. Museum Quarter in the heart of Vienna is home to over 60 galleries, museums and performance venues, including the Leopold Museum and the Museum of Modern Art Ludwig Foundation. From the classics to contemporary art, there's something to see for everyone. And between your trips, you can try some local cuisine at one of the many restaurants in the area. If it's architecture you're after, Vienna certainly won't disappoint. From grand palaces to Otto Wagner's modernist Art Nouveau, this city is known for its eclectic combination of building styles, many of which are open for public touring. But of course, we can't mention Vienna without talking about canal cruises along the Danube. This is a definite must for the solo traveller starting from around 50 euros. With scenery straight out of a fairy tale, Prague is renowned for its beautiful architecture and is known as the golden city of a thousand spires because of its many cathedrals. Like Vienna, it's a great destination for solo travelers given its reputation for safety, efficient transport system and ease of navigation. Visitors to Prague will be blown away by the mix of old world classicism and modern bohemia. Setting yourself up in accommodation downtown will give you access to the city's most prominent attractions. There are museums open daily like the Communist Museum and the National Museum, as well as guided tours of the mind-blowing Prague Castle. A stroll along the Charles Bridge gives you breathtaking views of the city and is bordered by delightful cafes and restaurants where you'll likely come across fellow travellers on your way. And when evening falls, Prague is also host to a vibrant nightlife scene. Traversing the streets on foot is safe, as there are generally crowds of tourists out and about from morning to night. However, you can also get an integrated transport ticket that allows you to take trams, buses and trains from a starting price of just one dollar. 
Thailand, and in particular its capital city Bangkok, is perfect for solo travellers hoping to experience the bright lights of urban development crossed with the grandeur of times gone by. As most adventurers will fly into the capital, it's well worth your time to spend a few days there, soaking in all the local culture has to offer. The Grand Palace and its neighbouring temple complex Wat Pra Giao offer up a majestic architecture and art experience, the likes of which will keep you busy for hours. Home to the Emerald Buddha, the latter is a must-visit if you're in the area, commanding deep respect and serenity in contrast to the bustle of the city. At night, you can explore Khao San Road, an entire stretch dedicated to shopping, markets, and delicious street food. And if you're just looking to relax in anonymity, most affordable hotels have rooftop pools and in-house bars to cater to your vacation needs. While it's massive in size, Bangkok is easy to navigate by train, or if you're feeling stylish, you can take a boat or ferry between temple complexes. Once you've had your fill of city life, a bus or short domestic flight will take you to one of Thailand's other great destinations like Phuket, by the coast, or Chiang Mai in the north. If breathtaking beaches are more your vibe, Tamarindo, Costa Rica is an ideal destination for travellers to relax on their own. This large, safe coastal town has plenty to offer in terms of food and culture, as well as wellness retreats and vibrant nightlife. Join a local surf school to catch some waves, or take a guided horseback tour through breathtaking palm trees and mountain backdrops. There are also water sports, challenging hikes, and zip lines for those looking to expend some adrenaline. And in the evenings, you can choose from relaxed cocktails, karaoke, or reggae performances, or even hop between events. Beach cruiser bikes and buses make it easy to get around Tamarindo, and the town is easy to navigate with a bit of help from the locals. Of course, that's not all Costa Rica has to offer. There are also smaller coastal towns like Montezuma, which are slightly more remote, but equally beautiful. The west coast city of San Francisco is a melting pot of culture and a must-visit destination for solo travelers in the US. To start, there's the iconic Golden Gate Bridge, which can be walked in just under an hour while you marvel at its incredible engineering. For cultural diversity, visit the Mission District with its bold, beautiful buildings and blend of Mexican-American heritage and cuisine. And if you're looking to take in some history, daily tours to Alcatraz Island are accessible via ferry. With so much to do and see, it's hard to nail down the top attractions in San Francisco. The city is unique in many, many ways, with one of its most prominent modes of transport being cable cars. From Chinatown to the Palace of Fine Arts, you won't be bored for a moment, and a San Francisco City Pass from $75 allows you entry into many of the city's top attractions. San Francisco is considered pretty safe, but it's best to keep an eye out in the evening for pickpocketers and the like. Fortunately, getting around is easy with public transport or rideshare services like Lyft or Uber. Going on vacation by yourself is liberating, but it's also crucial to do your research in advance so you can make the most of your trip and tackle your activities with confidence. Now get out there, be a little selfish, and see the world on your terms. Thank you for visiting and watching. We'll leave links in the description below to all the travel essentials you'll need for your once-in-a-lifetime solo adventure. Please subscribe to our channel for more great travel updates and info, and we'll see you all again soon. DTFN.